Herzl, Itzel. Rep, Itzel, to us there. Yeah. Rep, Rep, Merzl, Herzl. Whatever. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and this would be Velko, this would be the direction of Velkomir, yeah. though. Here, Velkomir stack. Okay. This was all called Slobotka. Mm -hmm. As are so many Jewish areas of towns called Slobotka. The, in the direction we're looking, the Pune Yeshiva would have been after the after the traffic light there. Mm -hmm. Until this square, this used to be synagogue square. It used to be four synagogues. Uh, uh, small uh, brief. Did you live here? Here, here. Okay, this is the map basically on the 1878 map of the town. Yes, parker, I'm not sure. What are you looking for? He wants a pencil. Oh. What is this? This is the stuff that we have in the Yeah. What is this? This used to be the synagogue. This is on the 1878 map. It used to be the synagogue. It's not here today. Jewish hospital? Yes. 14. This is a private house. Yes. Yeah. This is synagogue. Those are city weights. Yes. Mm -hmm. And here is a square of market. Okay, the market square, and this is 1904. Mm -hmm. Let's just go up. This is Shadow Street here, and that is where the Jewish cemetery is, the mm -hmm. one which is now a park. Mm -hmm. And here we're looking at a 1929 map of the same area. This is already in uh, Lithuanian. Go mm -hmm. ahead, talk. Mm -hmm. In Electro Street, it's already Jewish gymnasium for boys. Yes, that's where the hospital was then. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's, uh, the street is already called uh, Synagogu. Yeah. And um, uh, there is... Uh, a street of Ravi Itzel mm -hmm. and also Rab Herzl. Mm -hmm. Rab Herzl. And if we continue again on Shadow Street, I don't see it on the map. It's here. Oh, it's there's the synagogue. Masario Shisholiktos, the day of the uh, proclamation of independence. And these are just more things about what happened to the Jews of the area here that this gentleman did. This mm -hmm. Ragova. Ragova. Rogov. Huh? Rogov. A Rogovoy Stovi Synagoga. This is uh, Ramagoma. The, uh, this building of Synagoga just burned. Synagoga, it? it just burned. This it's, building yes, Rogov. in Rogov it just burned. The previous one. The cracking of one. Is this a stone or is this brick? Stone. 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 He doesn't know Dems. No Yamistis. I was doing it for, my, for our people, not for the children. Sorry, the guy, you may be interested. Yeah, please. This is the... Uh, Jewish hospital where Benjamin yeah, Abramovich Semachovich was the doctor. And the interesting story about this hospital is that in 1897 or 8, the Tsarina was coming through Ponevej and um, she got something in her eye. And they went to the Goisha doctors who couldn't do anything. And, uh, and the Goyesha doctors couldn't do anything, uh -huh. so they went to the Jewish doctor. Mm -hmm. And the Jewish doctor, who was a brother to a great-great-grandmother of mine, the one who was married to mm -hmm. um he fixed her eye. And the result of that was 
that he was given the title Pridvoni Vrach, and he then went uh, to uh, St. Petersburg, where he lived in Tsalskoye Selo, and uh, was a doctor to the royal family. One more thing here, and this is now became a boys' gymnasium, gymnasia, um, afterwards, but it was the hospital back at that time. It's been repaired a few times, that's what, but that's it. What is so remarkable is that this gentleman had heard the story as well. And he's telling the story now. He has had that in um, 1705. Uh, 1705? Yes. He was uh, the, he was, uh, uh, the, uh, the Russian Tsar was in the Mm -hmm. Usually often they possess. Tilze, Tilze,